Hi, how are you doing, Leo? This is your next 48 hour reading. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you're having a blessed day. Uh, this reading should be able to help you with whatever you're going through, whatever you have on your mind, whatever that might be coming in for you. However, this reading is not for everybody. If it does resonate, please be sure to share it with your fellow fire signs. Fire. Leo. I feel like you're coming out of a place and time of feeling um, emotionally closed off. Uh, you're coming out of a time of uh, going through shit in terms of uh, you're going through changes within yourself. But you have a destination. You have uh, a place you want to be. You have somebody who you want to be. And I feel like you're deciding to go towards that. You're taking action towards uh, what you want. There's opportunities coming in your life requiring you to be brave and courageous. And I really see you going after that. New opportunities are arriving in your life. And there's a decision you have to make. Because uh, people really look up to you. Your idea system. Uh, you could be having friends who really um, you inspire them. Um, people who value really high in your life. And... Um, and you feel like, well, we can't let them down because they truly see you as, um, how would I put it? They see you as um, a leader, you know? They see you as the leader of the pack. However, there's a chapter in your life that needed to be closed. There's a chapter in your life that needed to end. Let's get into your reading. Uh, Leo, this is your next 48. Spirit, what do you need to um, talk to Leo about? Huh. Yeah, there's something you're walking away. I get something in your life you're truly walking away. Um, just, it wasn't fulfilling. You try to invest in it. You're trying to um, to work with it. However, if you just felt like it was draining you, you know, you, you just felt like um, you just felt like you pleasing. Sorry, you pleasing them more than they please you. In some situation, I don't know. I don't know why that came to my mind. Uh, with the eight of cups, I feel like. There is entertainment on them, however, there's no entertainment on you. There's fulfillment on their side, however, there's no fulfillment for you. You're closing out a chapter in your life because you feel the energy of... Um, I'm done. You know? I'm truly done. Because it's like whoever you're dealing with, they get pleasure out of it or just it's the situation you're dealing It benefits them more than it benefits you. And you're going to seek out what fulfills you as much as you fulfill them. What, what, you, um, what, what gets you right? You, you're going after your balance. You're going after your happiness. You're going after your emotional um, gain. You might have invested in a situation or just in a place where you feel comfortable, where you've been people who you feel comfortable around. And it's kind of like I'm walking away to focus on my skills, on what makes me happy, what gets me going, you know? It's like you keep, you're putting your options aside to just seek out your fulfillment, to seek out your joy. It might be, yeah, I really get a situation where you have so much options coming towards you or you see them, but you're just doing you, doing what you're good at, what makes you special. Hmm. Never quite saw that. You're going after... Your own happiness. 
this is this is the energy I'm getting. I, ne I never kind of saw that before. However, it's like you you are really playful. You were really talented and um, highly highly skilled. But maybe people around you just want your energy, and maybe they don't want to see the true version of you. And what you're doing is like you're keeping that to yourself. It's like every every everything and everybody is whack. I'm going after my thing, you know. I'm going after my own um, my own joy. Seeking that cup that fulfills you, rather than having everything else that entertains you. It's like entertainment, you know. It's just. It's gonna be happy, fun for the time being, and the party's gonna be over. However, you're looking for something for longevity, long term. Maybe you want long term happiness with somebody, and maybe that's what you might be going after with the Eight of Cups. And then you just see, it's like you see the whole, you, okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. You see, um, you see everybody as just, maybe everybody, you're just coming across all options and it's just like, you're keeping it to yourself, you know. There's some, there's a side of you that I feel like you want it to be seen. But you want somebody who matches you to see that. Leo, your card is strength. And maybe at this time the universe is blessing you with strength to move on forward. What makes you happy? What do you want out of a connection? Because it's a lot of cups. What do you want out of a situation? Is it momentous or is it life lasting? Because anybody and everybody can have that entertainment and fun you might be walking away from. You know, it's kind of like everybody, yeah, this, here we go. Everybody can have th these cups behind, you know, everybody. It's like they can have these options. Everybody does this shit every fucking day. But you're seeking something unique, something really creative, emotionally attaching, emotionally fulfilling. But you don't get it from these options. And maybe you're seeing that. You're seeing that. The one cup you're going after, it's there. However, you have to go after it. You have to walk after it. And maybe it's not there when you need it. However, for you to get it, it needs you to truly work on yourself. Do your job, do your task. And as you move forward, you get closer and closer to that cup you need. However, the journey of walking away from these entertaining situations, just these cups, these emotional uh, attachments, or just situations you're comfortable with, it takes, it takes a while, you know, it's just you're walking away, however, it's truly hard to walk away. But Leo, you guys are really strong, it's just like, oh, hell yeah, I'm fucking walking away. And you're going after a rebirth. There's a situation that was put on the side, it just, it felt like it ended. There's going to be a reunion. Happiness taking place. You might be uh, meeting somebody who you haven't met in a minute. You might be going back to a situation or connection uh, that you put on the side to truly focus on other things. But the universe is bringing something back to life again. You might be dealing with a king of uh, king of wands, somebody charismatic, charming, stuck in their ways, not changing for anybody or anything. They know where they're heading and they're going there. 
Whoever wants to come along, sure, come along. But I have somewhere I want to be. You might be dealing with that type of person. They are up to growth. They always um, have a sense of direction. With the four, I'm getting new beginnings. It might be new beginnings in a connection, your life, your whole situation. You might be walking away from uh, your options to really feel the glow within yourself, the love within yourself. But with the full card and um, eight of pentacles, I'm getting, yeah, with the strength card, I'm um, getting new beginnings. You might be feeling something brand new or even feeling renewed, feeling like a free spirit at this time. And uh, you're deciding to truly put your skills to work, focusing on your work truly. With the strength card and uh, the nine of swords, there's a situation that's really boggling you, that's getting you in your head. Something that might be draining in terms of your sleep. You can't sleep because this person is truly on your mind. It's like a leech that's attached to you. Draining you of your thoughts, draining you of everything you might be feeling. This situation is truly causing you to be restless so you can't take it off your mind. It's causing you a lot of mental stress or battles. It's like you want to sleep, but this situation or just this person, this connection won't get off your mind. And there's a decision you have to make. There is communication that might be taking place, uh, messaging. I might be sending a message or information to somebody. With the six of wands, I'm getting um, people really. Uh, you might be in a spotlight, you know, this time being. I really feel like you, you are really attractive at this moment. People come to you for ideas, suggestions. Uh, people might be coming for you for a sense of direction. And it makes you feel really useful. It makes you feel needed. Like I said, leader of the pack. It makes you feel empowered. You know, and you feel that you look up to that. You're feeling this glow, you're feeling this energy, you're feeling blessed by the universe and you see your achievements. And you want to invest in a situation or a connection. There might be messaging messages coming towards you, news. But whatever is on your mind, it's causing you to rush in and take action and want to invest in this. Let's get started with your reading. Let's get started with your reading. I think I'm going to do this question. How are you doing, Leo? How are you doing? Um. With the Ten of Pentacles, uh, there might be financial burdens coming towards you, coming along your way. It's just, um, it's taking its time to get to you. Your success is paying off, however, at the same time, it's coming. It's taking, it's taking its time, you know. Yeah. Excuse me. Yo, um... Yeah, you having your abundance is coming towards you. However, like it's taking time so that you realize you have to walk away from something or situations. Because maybe those situations might be draining you. Situations might be draining you. With the ace of wands, um, I'm getting an energy. Excuse me. 
with the ace of wands i'm getting an energy of um you having inspiration moving forward you might be like i said you might be wanting to uh, move towards something that's more fulfilling but there's more a mental excuse me there's mental stress attached to that conflict within you you know and the, with the ace of wands i'm getting a sense of you feel motivated inspired to move forward or just as you walk away from uh, this uh, connections, I feel like you are being inspired along the way. But it's causing you some mental conflict. I don't know why. What does Leah need to know for the next 48? be uh, currently having an opportunity coming towards you to see things under a new perspective or under a new light with the ace of wands i'm getting uh, an opportunity to nurture uh, a connection to grow um, an opportunity to grow expand yourself Whatever uh, is coming towards you is giving you an inspiration within your ideas or within what you do. I get a sense of um, I get a sense sorry I'm having uh, flash flashes sorry um, sorry uh, I have, bro, sorry, flashes, 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 ah. uh, with the Ace of Wands, it's um, whatever you might be doing, just a new direction, new tasting things, uh, but what's coming in for you is going to give you a new, um, you, want, you want to take life by the horns, you know, you have um, motivation to go on by life, to do life again, you know, to follow life. However, there is a, a new perspective in it, see, with the hangman, within the situation you're in, the connection you're in. Uh, maybe let go of yourself and seek out new knowledge, um, whatever you've been holding on to. Just seek out different ways you could approach it. Um, for the next 48. Page of Wands. There might be um, with the sun. There might be communication taking place with uh, with somebody who you haven't seen in a moment or just uh, there's a union that's taking place. A phone call, verbal communication, um, but it's taking place. It's taking place and uh, it's really going to make you happy and excited. be meeting a partner with the six of cups uh, who really wants to share emotions as much as you do with them uh, just um, somebody who makes you feel like a kid like I said playfulness but if it comes to your financial life your uh, finances are, lo are coming in it's just you gotta clear out some air make room for more to come and um, yeah, just seek a new perspective of uh, what connections, situations you're in. Uh, phone calls might be coming in towards you, communication, uh, to spend time with somebody, your family, friends, or just even um, communicating with somebody and going home to enjoy your home settlement. 
Uh, with the Knight of Wands, you might be thinking about traveling, relocating. With the Knight of Wands, you might be um, moving towards somebody or just uh, deciding to uh, take some time and uh, yeah, give your mind some space. If you're having a lot of mental trouble, mental conflict, mental chaos, it might be a good time to go uh, for a walk and really uh, release what you um uh, having your mind filled up with. Because with the Five of Wands and the uh, Hermit, I really think there is a lot of mental um, battles that are happening in there. You know, you're having to face yourself or just your thoughts. You don't know what to do, where to head. Uh, just take a good look of your uh, the life you are in or situations you're in. Try to seek a new knowledge, new enlightenment, and that should be able to help you moving forward. Thank you, Leo.